Hey everyone, Jake here and today we've got more magic products. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this uh, and honestly I need a little bit of a break from Pokemon anyway. If you're thinking that box looks kind of familiar, that's because these are from the same company that repackaged Pokemon Mystery Power Boxes. Now I bought these directly from my local Walmart so I probably won't run into the same problem of tampered packs as the boxes from Amazon. So, wacky, so what exactly are these? They're six chaos packs. It's $20, you get six random magic packs and one promo card. Honestly, that's not that bad of a deal considering that Magic has an official product that's $40 for 10 packs. I hope you guys are excited as I am because I don't know enough about Magic to really know what I'm talking about yet. So these packs are going to be kind of a mystery to me. Three, two, one. What do we got? We got an Oath of the Gate Watch. There's a set that I haven't even heard of yet. Rivals of Ixalan. What is this one? One, two, three, flip. Gills of Ravnica. I've heard of Gills of Ravnica. I think it's still in play too. Hours of Devastation. Oh, there's our promo card. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, okay, there, there is a six pack. I was about to say we got a second Gills of Ravnica. Uh, what is this pack? We got an eighth Ether Revolt and our promo card. I'm gonna guess that this card is probably worth a quarter max, a quarter max. But it's a promo card, so you never know. Uh, three, two, one, flip. And it is a Tali Primal. Storm, Legendary Creature, Elder Dinosaur. It, it honestly doesn't look that bad. It's a Legendary Creature, so it's... I can play this in Commander. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful holographic. I'm actually digging it. I'm not sure how much this is worth. I can't imagine it's worth very much, but hey, it's a card that I don't have, and that's honestly all I need, guys. If I get cards that I don't get, I don't have, then I'm stoked. Let's just go down the list of what we got. Ether Revolt. I'm pretty sure this set is no longer in play. And if you guys are wondering what company does these, it is MJ Holding. And if you guys don't have never heard of MJ Holding, that's a company that uh, Rudy from Alpha Investment, a channel that I've been watching recently, is affiliated with Shipwreck Moray. They like to buy a lot of Magic the Gathering product and resell them just like this format. Caught in the Brights, Precise Strike. Oh, I know this set, Ether Revolt. It's kind of like a steampunk set. Renegades, Getaway. There aren't a lot of uh, expensive cards in this set, but the art is pretty cool. It looks almost like a Star Wars and a little bit of steampunk mix in. High Spire, Infusion. Cool Finale. Universal Solvent. Night Market Guard, Destructive Tampering, Foundry Assembler, Hidden Herbalist, Sly Requisitioner, Monstrous Onslaught, and we got Ether Geode Miner as the Holographic Rare. There's an extra card on the back, maybe it's a land or a rare, uh, and it's an island. On to the Guilds of Ravnica. Don't know what Ravnica is. I don't know what the guilds are. Actually, I have a little bit of idea of what the guilds are. I think there's a guild for every two color combination. Uh, my current favorite guild, I think, is Is It is the name. It's blue and red. You play a lot of spells. You draw a lot of cards and you deal a lot of spell damage. It's great. We got Color of the, color of the Culprit. Dazzling Lights, Fire Urchin, Vicious Rumors, uh, Vigor Spore Worm, Command the Storm, Capture Spear, Golgari Locket. Hey, Golgari, Go, I'm sorry, Golgari Locket. I think this one's actually worth something. Three mana, add two, uh, one black and one green. And actually, I'm not too sure. I mean, it's an uncommon card, so maybe it's not worth anything. 
but Golgari, lock it. And I do know I like to play some Golgari. Maniacal Rage, Hired Poisoner, Crackling Drake. I play Crackling Drake in my Is It deck. Ooh, one of the dual cards. A card with actually, it's like two cards in one status and statue. We got Silent Dart and Dawn of Hope as the rare. On to our second Ravnica pack. I'm going to learn a lot about magic just from opening up these packs. We got ourselves a Leapfrog. Goblin Locksmith. Ah, that's a funny card. He opens the door just by breaking in. Generous Stray. Severed Strands. Sonic Assault. Rizome Lurker. You can see that uh, some of the guild specific cards have their own little icon on the bottom. And I know that one's Golgari because I played them a little bit. Uh, Fresh Face Recruit. Mephitic Vapors. Blade Instructor. Command the Storm. Conclave Cavalier. Oh, I play quite a bit of Conclave as well. Thought Erasure. Flight of the Equinox. And Assassin's Trophy is the rare. I think Assassin's Trophy is actually played in some Commander decks. So maybe this one's worth a pretty penny. If not, that's alright too. I need it as well for my own Commander deck. And we got a Demir Gate, Guild Gate at the back. On to Hours of Devastation. Uh, does, can I see what uh, year this came out in on the back? No. I mean, I can see the dates on the inside of the card, so that's, I guess, one way we can do it. I want to see how old this set is. There's our token, Dream Stealer, 2017, so this set is two years old, definitely, definitely uh, rotated out. Granitic Titan, if the set has rotated out, I can't imagine these are worth very much. Moaning Wall, ugh, sounds like my parents. Life Goes On. Seer of the Last Tomorrow, Monolith, Desert of the Indomitable, hmm, enters the battlefield, tap, but uh, unique lands are always cool, so I'll probably keep that one. Avon of Enduring Hope, Harrier Naga, Unquenchable Thirst, Resolute Survivors, Unconventional Tactics, Eternal of Harsh Truths. Man, these cards look like uh, kind of like an Egyptian theme going on here. Endless Sands. There we go. Egyptian theme. And a Plains in the back. Wait! Endless Sand as a rare, a rare land, rare land. Maybe this one's worth something. There you go. Endless Sands. It's a land and it's a desert. Is a desert really a land? It's not a land. I mean, I guess it adds um, just a regular mana with colorless. On to Rivals of Ixalan. This is actually pretty cool. I'm actually pretty uh, having a lot of enjoyment out of this uh, Chaos 6 pack. As I said, I play a lot of Commander now, and in Commander you only need one copy of a card to play it. So this is exactly what I want. It's just one copy of a card, so I have lots of variety of cards to choose from now. Goblin Trailblazer. Sun Sentinel. Fanatical Firebrand, Plummet, Gasping Scoundrel, Overgrown Armasaur, Tinalali's Crown, Squire's Devotion, Deadeye Raycaller, so a bit of like a piratey theme, Cherish Hatchling, Relentless Raptor Dinosaur, so kind of like a Lost World, Deadeye Brawler, ooh. And, oh, a Mythic Rekindling Phoenix, our first my uh, Mythic. Dang, looks like a cool card. Glad to have it. It's not a legendary creature, so can't be a commander, but looks really nice. Rekindling Phoenix, let's put that one in the back. And we even got ourselves a Thrashing Brontodon Holographic Uncommon added to it. You guys can sort of see the shines. I, I'll be honest, Magic, you need to step your games up with your uh, holographic. They're just not shiny enough. 
you can really blink it out bling it out a lot more than that and a regular planes on the back last set that we're opening up oaf of the gate watch i know this dude i think his name's gideon one of the legendary heroes in magic the gathering i think he literally watches a gate maybe that's what he does and I think this is Nissa, I think it's her name. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. Alrighty. We got ourselves a Negate. Spark Mage Gambit. Shoulder to shoulder. Vines of the Recluse. Zolara Port Chain Mage. Gravity Negator. Bonesaw. Sion or Scion Summoner. It's an Eldrazi, kind of like a alien or a space thing from a different plane. Really cool looking art style. It's a green card, but you almost can't tell it. It almost looks like a full art or an extended artwork. Spawn Binder Mage. Cinder Hellion. And onto our uncommons, Cliff Haven Vampires. I'd always take some vampire. Mega Stan. Nissa's Judgment and Remorseless Punishment as our rare. Ooh, cool card. And in the back, oh, look at that. It's a full art planes. Dang. Oh boy, these full art lands look absolutely gorgeous. I think this is the first one I've ever pulled. What a beautiful card. Number 251 out of 274. Ooh, we're gonna keep this one on the back. Can you guys imagine how excited I am when the most ex uh, exciting cards I've gone so far is a planes? All right, that was a lot of fun actually. I really like that. Totally worth 20 bucks in my honest opinion. Uh, even though if the cards value do not add up to 20 bucks, I mean, I had fun and I'm glad to got what I got. If you're not trying to get a lot of value and you just want a lot of random cards, like me, and the purpose of this is so that I can play Commander. And for Commander, you only need one copy of every card to play. So this works perfectly. I have a bunch of cards I can play with now. We got ourselves another Ether Revolt and a Beast Whisper Holographic Rare as our promo card. Let's put that one in the back. I'm gonna actually look at it up close a little bit. It's got a really nice design with those five colors down there shining. And let's put a, the Beast Whisperer right there in the back. We got ourselves a Dragons of Tarkir. So that's a different set. Uh, another Rivals of Ixalan. What else do we have here? Oh, this one looks cool. Magic the Gathering Unstable. What a cool pack. I wonder if this one's worth anything. I might have to research about it before we go opening this pack. Just so we know what we're getting into. Still gonna open it though. And to top it off, we got two Guilds of Ravnica packs to end it up with. Five minutes later. All right guys, I'm back from going down the unstable rabbit hole. And uh, this booster box, a, boost, a booster box of 36 of these are currently going for $130. So at least the pack is worth the value, but from what I understand, the cards inside, not very great. There aren't anything goods in the unstable set. Hey, what is that? A Brainy Act holographic token. I'll take it. Uh, I doubt that this card's worth anything because most of the cards from this set have gone significantly down in value, but it seems like it's really cool nonetheless. Anyway, let's see what we got in here. We got a uh, magic word. Wild Crocodile. Man, this set is pretty crazy. I can see why. It's got a really unique artwork. It looks almost like a sci-fi set. Big Boa Constrictor. It that gets left hanging. Oh boy. Chipper Chopper. Binders Keepers. No Made Engine. I wonder if these cards are playable because the design is really cool. When this creature enters battle, create a 1-1 colorless gnome artifact creature. Lobe Lobber. Steam Flogger Temp. Side Quest. Dirty Rat Holographic uh, 
common. What is going on here? And our uh, rare is a legendary off auto, uh, artifact, Kind Slaver. Hmm. I'm gonna have to see if I can play any of these cards. That's that's pretty neat. And in the back, I'm gonna say that we're about to see some tokens or lands or something like that. Woo! Is that a full art mountain? Oh, what a beautiful card. Man, you guys see this? The full art lands have got to be some of the most gorgeous cards. I know someone's gonna want to play this mountain. So I bet you this card is probably the most expensive thing we've pulled in a little bit. In the back, ooh, what is that? An Oaken Power Suit Rare. It's full art and a headbanger full art. What an interesting pack. Glad we got it. I didn't realize that Magic had these kinds of wacky packs in them. Now we're on to Ether Revolt or Ether Revolt, whatever that is, with uh, an a, a Johnny on the front, I think is his name. The cat, the cat dude. We got ourselves the Servo Token. Mm -hmm. Shock. That spell is always useful. Shipwreck Moray. Caught in the Brights. Life Craft Cavalry. Night Market Aeronaut. Ether Herder. Countless Gears Gren uh, Renegade. Watchful Automaton. Augmenting Automaton. Ether Inspector. Ornith Ornithoper? Ornithopper? Something like that? Crackdown Construct. Perilous Predicament. And Yeheni's Expertise as the Rare. Hey, cool card. Very cool design. Looks like he's uh, sucking the life force or soul right out of his opponent. And in the back, just a regular mountain. How can this compare to that beautiful mountain that we have in the back? On to Dragons of Tarkir, woohoo! Our first pack opening of Dragons of Tarkir, honestly, no idea what this one's about. I'm gonna imagine it's about a lot of dudes in some kind of like, um, Mongol horde almost. Wandering Tomb Shell, Sabertooth Outrider, Dramaga Dunecaster, Sipsick Icebreakers, Dragon Scarred Bear. Man, they do not make this game easy to spell. Salumgar Butcher. Evolving Wilds. Sandcrafter Mage. Duress. Display of Dominance. Stormcrag Elemental. Blood Chin Rager. Sure, sure, that's a card. And we got a Hidden Dragon Slayer as the Rare. Still a little bit thick in the back, so maybe we got something besides the land. Ooh, holographic. Holographic, boys. Dragon Loft Idol as a holographic uncommon. And a planes in the back. On to Rivals of Isalon. Are you guys having fun watching me butcher all these uh, words? And I'll be honest, I'm having a lot of fun. I think I've already gone myself uh, the value that I want out of these packs. Not monetary value, because God, most of these cards are probably not worth very much. But in terms of pure enjoyment, I think I've gotten it. Fanatical Firebrand, Sun Crested Pterodon, Sailor of Means, Swaggering Corsair. Man, these cards are gorgeous. I love myself some pirates. Phantom Fleet Border, Naturalize. There's a Hearthstone card for you guys. Snubhorn Sentry. Colossal Dread Maul, Kite Sail Corsair, Jade Bearer. Now we're on to the Uncommons Thunder Herd Migration, Ravenous Chupacabra, Thrashing Brontodon. Hey, we have a holographic version of this exact card. And Jade Light Ranger as the rare. On to Guilds of Ravnica. So, uh, the question I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, put out there is should you buy these chaos six packs and honestly I'm gonna give it a yay you should buy these if if you're, you're not trying to like make any money or anything like that and you're new to magic and you just want to open up a bunch of cards while miss 
If you're trying to play standard, this is probably a bad idea because most of these sets have already rotated out, but they're still very legal in Commander, which is what I currently enjoy playing. So yeah, Parhelion Patrol, Boros Locket. Hey, got a dual card, Integrity and Intervention. Thought Eraser, already got that one. One of Vertebrae and a Legion War Boss as the rare. It's a goblin, so maybe a goblin deck coming to the near future. Not a legendary creature. I'm always looking for legendary creatures. Do you guys know why? Because then I can have another commander to play with. On to our final packs. Boy, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I almost forgot how fun magic can be opening up packs that I know nothing about. Well, none to the front, but let's give it a flick for good luck. Why not? We got ourselves a Maximize Velocity, Healer's Hawk, Dazzling Lights, Urban Utopia, Bartizan Bat, Luminous Bonds, Vernadi, Vernandi, Vernadi, Shieldmate, Pistons, Fist, Cyclops. Uh, pitless, gore, uh, pitiless, Gorgon, Golgari card, Hammer Dropper, Necrotic Wounds, Join Shields, Thoughtbound Phantasm, and Etrata the Silencer. Hey, that's a cool card, legendary creature. So that's a commander that I can play, uh, Demir Commander. A Vampire Assassin, Atrata, the Silencer. Oh boy, I wonder if she's worth anything. I definitely want to play around with her as my commander. Very cool card. And in the back we got ourselves a Demir Gilgate. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. What's my final opinion on these Chaos 6 packs with a free promo card? I'm gonna say, hell yeah, I think these are actually pretty cool. Honestly, you're not going to get cards that you can play in standard, but if your goal is like me and to open up a bunch of singular cards for something like Commander, then it's probably totally worth it. I got some really cool cards, maybe not $40 worth of value out of them, but I enjoyed that a lot, just seeing so many different varieties of cards from how many different packs did we open, so from so many different sets. We could open like seven different sets, so that was really cool. I have so many new cards to add to my collection and to see what is good and what is not. So I'm going to have a field day sleeving up all these cards. Hope to see you all next time and thank you so much for watching.